Welcome to Log Furniture How To, the most all inclusive site on the net for log and rustic furniture, fixtures, and decor. That's logfurniturehowto.com. Well, we're over here at the yard today to get set up and start carving out our first set of log furniture out of the logs we've picked up up there on the Waldo Canyon burn scar. They've been sitting over here now for a week or so, curing. So let's get on over here and go to work. Now unlike the logs that we've been picking up from the Heyman burn scar that have been dead standing for many years, these logs were green and growing trees just a few months ago. So we're going to have to figure out exactly the process in getting these things ready for furniture. So today I thought we'd go ahead and take time to peel one of these logs back, mark it up and carve it out just as if it was already cured. Set it aside, see how it reacts. So we've got our handy draw knife. And we've got my my roofing hammer that I use as a way to get this bark started. Just want to get through that bark and get down into that cambium layer. All right, so we're getting uh getting a pretty good start at it with this flat edge. We're going to switch over to our draw knife now that we've got it started and we can start pulling this stuff up in bigger pieces. And you're going to see here real quick where we're going to have little burnt limbs that we're going to work around. We'll be featuring this in a lot of this furniture. Here, let's take a closer look. You can see where there was a little limb right here that got burnt off. There's actually a couple more back here on this side. And you see this one's right on this edge, so I'll be able to leave that in. I'm gonna carve that seat out right here. All right, so I've taken time to look this log over and I've located a couple of spots that I, I wanna feature. And uh, before I move this one, I'm gonna go ahead and mark it out. Using a uh, carpenter's crayon even though it's a wet log, it should still hold the hold the crayon. Now this is going to be the front. If you remember from my other videos, we want at least four inches. So as we carve this out, we'll create this taper. From four inches in the front to about an inch and a half in the back. Next we're going to pull in our three and a half to four inches to leave that much. And then we'll start our radius. Nice relaxed curve coming down and around. Now we're going to want to maintain that four inches all the way across the front of this. Now as we run this line across the back, we only need about an inch and a half to two inches. So I'm just eyeballing that around and of course, we start our radius right down here towards the end. And you'll match that right at the top, just like that. All right, so that's the bottom. Let's go ahead and peel the back and then we'll get that chainsaw fired up. So we got these all marked out. Let's grab that chainsaw and get to work. Now remember, we just want to go from line to line. And we'll come back and not carve all that out of there.
about doing it one step at a time so that we can make that turn. Alright. So that's how we get this get this turn. Let's set this aside. Get on that front log or the bottom log. Now remember with this one, we're taller and thicker in the front, thinner in the back, so we're gonna have it running back hill. begin to get a sense of how wet these logs are. Yeah, but we're going to go ahead and keep carving on this. Let it sit over there and dry out. Just see how it responds. So what I like to do next is take these and lean them up on end so we can make that one cut just like that. set these over here to dry. I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. This has been Mitchell Dillman with LogFurnitureHowTo.com. We'll see you again next week.